Today we're going to show the progress so far on my animated Grogu slash custom IG-12 build. Today we'll be focusing on IG-12. I started by printing the Grogu compartment and then making a little control panel. I realized that the compartment was too small and I decided to add these wings that you see here to give it a little bit more width from the front. All the holes you see are 34 millimeter. They're the perfect size for when printing with my printer to fit a one inch PVC pipe. I use the PVC as dowels and also as structural reinforcement. I like to do this on my bigger builds and I for some reason have a penchant for using the one inch PVC. I do have a lot of it on hand. You can see that other than the PVC pipes I was just using super glue to hold the parts in place. After getting the shoulders together and getting those on, you'll see that here in a second. They're held together with quarter inch dowels and then again the one inch PVC is a dowel to hold it onto the back component. I realized that the glue is not going to be strong enough. So I bought a plastic welder, was practicing, got away with myself and didn't get to record actually using it. Now the torso is going to be basically a bunch of greebly adornments and this whole build is meant to be portable so I'm using the PVC joiners that are not going to be glued to the torso so when I'm done building it I should be able to have an upper chest, a torso, and then the legs, the arms, and the head so that I can take it to Comic Con with me if I want. This is the bottom of the torso that I'm working on here that the legs will be attached to. That will be in a future video as I have not started the legs yet. Another nice thing about the way I'm building this is I can adjust how tall I want the torso to be. I could actually make a different size ones if I wanted to so that if I need to make them fit into a different location I can. Right now I have a tall enough space so that if I want to make him 7 feet tall it'll work. I printed this head. It's probably one of the first prints I did on my 3D printer when I got it about 7 years ago. The silver is just a little too shiny so I'm going through and adding some rust wash to weather it a bit here. Also in a future video I plan on when I add the eyes to uh, come up with a way to light the eyes that will be unique that I haven't seen done before. I really need to get some more of this wash from Vallejo. I use it on almost everything now. It works great straight out of the bottle and you can even water it down like you see me doing here. And then when it dries, it dries a little on the dull side and not as dark as you see it going on. To give some contrast, the top cap I decided to make a little darker. I'm just this is just a black wash that I'm putting on top of that. And so far it looks good. I may weather it some more in the future, but for now I think I'm pretty happy. And then I'm going to attach the head with a neck piece that has a bearing on it. That's going to allow wiring through for any lighting or servos that I want to add in the future. That will be in the next part of this build series. I have a couple other projects I'm working on at the same time, so the next video may not be part of this build. 
Thank you for watching.